And then the last thing we're going to do is just look at some simple calculations um, working with scientific notation. And this kind of goes back and hits on some of those exponent rules that we've talked about. So in the first problem, we have 1.35 times 10 to the third, which is in scientific notation, times 2.7 times 10 to the fifth, which is also in scientific notation. Lots of ways to do this problem. The easiest way is to group like things together. So what I'm going to do is to put the 1.35 and the 2.7 together, the A values in both of those pieces. So I have 1.35 times 2.7. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the bases of 10. I'm going to put those together. So the 10 to the third and the 10 to the fifth. So 10 to the third times 10 to the fifth. And then I'm just going to use my calculator to do the red part, just the, the numbers. So 1.35 times 2.7 will give us 3.645. And then we'll do the green part, the 10 to the third times 10 to the fifth, which I don't need my calculator for. Um, first off, because they are like bases, I know that when I'm multiplying, I keep the base. And then the second thing that we know when we multiply like bases, we add the powers together. So three plus five would give us eight. So that's our answer written in scientific notation. The second example, of course, is division. So 10.8 times 10 to the 11th divided by 5.4 times 10 to the 4th. So again, I'm going to handle this the same way I did the last problem. I'm going to group like things together. So I'm going to group the 10.8 with the 5.4. So 10.8 divided by 5.4 and then in the other one, I'm going to group the bases of 10 together. So 10 to the 11th divided by 10 to the 4th. And again, we're going to get to use some of our exponent rules here again. So starting with the red, 10.8 divided by 10 or divided by 5.4 is simply 2. And then times. And for the green part, 10 to the 11th divided by 10 to the 4th, I keep my base of 10. And when we divide like bases, we know that we subtract the powers. So 11 minus 4 would be 7. So my answer would be 2 times 10 to the 7th. And that kind of sums up our scientific notation.